Hi, I'm Stephanie Denman with Styled Real Estate, and today I have with me Dr. Jeff Burke. He is the superintendent with Splendora ISD. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's my pleasure, Stephanie. Thanks for having me on. Okay, so let's get to know Splendora ISD and mm -hmm. what makes them different from other districts near us. I think what makes us different is we're, we're a district that truly tries to live by its values and beliefs, and we focus a lot on our culture. Mm -hmm. uh, we focus a lot on, on taking care of our people, communicating. Uh, what those values and beliefs are and spending a lot of time cultivating uh, the right relationships. What is more than a score? I know that's a saying that you guys have right. at Splendora and yes. cultivating exceptional people. Right. And, and so um, our mission is cultivating exceptional people, okay. which to me means that we focus on relationships. We focus on how we behave as, as adults in the school system, what we contribute to our students, to our staff, to our community. I think that's really important. Uh, currently, uh, the, the system of accountability uh, rates school districts uh, on an A through F basis. Right. And uh, many school districts across the state, uh, including Splendor ISD, feel that that's just not enough, that mm -hmm. we are more than a score. Our students and our campuses, our community is more than just a simple letter grade. Uh, we feel like there's so much that we offer uh, that, that we're integral to our community in terms of giving um, opportunities for our, for our parents, for our kids, for our community to be involved, mm -hmm. uh, that it's just impossible to narrow that all down to one letter grade. So let's talk next about GEARS, your GEARS program. Yeah, so uh, we have a program called GEARS, which mm -hmm. is Growing Exceptional Adaptable Resourceful Students, mm -hmm. and we're in our second year. Uh, we have between 12 and 15 students who intern uh, in various departments in the district so that they can get a glimpse of, of what we do on a daily basis, mm -hmm. uh, how the district is run. Uh, they get to choose what department that they want to serve in and so we have some in technology, we have some in uh, teaching and learning, we have some in communications, and we have some in leadership and culture. So they shadow me, our assistant superintendent Rick Kirshner, uh, and, and other folks as well. So it's a really good opportunity for them, like I said before, to, to learn about the inner workings of the district, but it's also a really valuable opportunity for us to get their voice. It, student voice is, is really important to us. We want to make sure that they know that everything we're doing, we're doing for them at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to have their feedback and their perspective. And next, let's talk about capturing kids' hearts. I yes. know that's a big initiative for you guys. It is, it is, and, and it goes beyond an initiative or a program. It's really a philosophy for us. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we talk about there's two things that we feel like we can control in public school. Uh, one is the relationships that we build with each other and with our kids, and the other is the quality of work that we design. Mm -hmm. And so our relationship model is capturing kids' hearts. Because we have a lot of kids that come to us with different models of relationships, right? And so through that, we try to make sure that we have high-functioning classrooms and that you know, we're big on affirmations and, and making sure that we um, teach kids the importance of, of owning their own behavior and being self-driven and self-motivated and, and to have self-efficacy. And so we have all of our staff trained in capturing kids' hearts. I think we're seeing huge dividends in the way that it's affected our culture and mm -hmm. um, the way that our kids are becoming more um, aware, okay. I guess, of their behavior and their ability to uh, redirect their own behavior too. And so it gives us that, that baseline of this is what it means to have a healthy, appropriate, positive relationship and this is how you get there. What's a social contract? I know my son goes yeah. to the so, and he um, talks about social contracts a lot. Yeah, so um, we have social contracts everywhere in our society mm -hmm. that kind of dictate uh, socially how we act in certain circumstances. And so we've sort of taken that uh, through part of, through Capturing Gets Hearts and we have uh, social contracts for our classrooms mm -hmm. where it's an agreed upon set of, of behaviors that, that each class will accept, right? Okay. And so you go into any classroom uh, in our district and you'll see a social contract which means the kids and the teachers together have formulated this set of expectations of how they're going to behave mm -hmm. and and so that way the kids have ownership of of hey you know what you said that we were going to respect each other and you said that we were going to you know keep things confidential and you said that we were going to do this and and it's a great way for us to say well you're not doing this and so you have to go to the office it's a way to say hey as a classroom we agreed on this mm -hmm. and so it really helps i think um give a, a reframe that that behavior conversation mm -hmm. into something more positive and proactive. So early college, I know mm -hmm. you guys offer that as well. Can we you tell do. me more about that? Yes, so uh, we offer early college through Lone Star Kingwood, mm -hmm. um, Lone Star College in Kingwood, and uh, it starts at the, at the freshman level. Um, our upperclassmen travel uh, to the college and we have our own instructors uh, who are certified to teach uh, dual credit. Uh, instructing on our high school campus and so we've seen a, a huge dividend and boon from that since it was implemented um, 
you know, a few years ago, uh, you can come to Splendora and get an associate's degree or B Corps complete at no cost. And wow. so we think that's a really big advantage for our community and that's for our huge. school district. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, trades and after school programs. Yes. For so, those that may not want to go the right. college route, you also offer right. something else for them. Correct. So, you know, our learner profile, one of the, the skills and, and attributes that we want to build in our, in our learners is to be a productive citizen, mm -hmm. right? And um, we, like you just said, that not everybody's going to go to college, but we want everybody to do something productive when they leave high school. Mm -hmm. And so we offer a variety of trades uh, through our career and technical education programs, pathways that, that we feel like will prepare our kids for life after high school if they choose to go in that direction. Welding, uh, AutoCAD, uh, engineering, machining, uh, lots of different things that we offer. Um, cosmetology. Cosmetology, yes, awesome. there's, there's just a, a big spate of things that kids can choose to do and we're trying to expand that mm -hmm. as well. So projected growth and mm -hmm. development in the area, I know that's something that I'm interested yeah. in. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I love Splendora, yeah. but that's, you know, my expertise and I, and I wanted to get your take on it and how you feel about the growth that's affecting Splendora. Right. Well, it's a good thing mm -hmm. that we're growing, right? It means that we have more opportunities, more business coming in, more students. Mm -hmm. uh, it's healthy to mm -hmm. be a growing district. Uh, I think a, a big part of that is the proximity to 99 mm -hmm. uh, and Valley Ranch and, and all the businesses that we're seeing and services that we're seeing pop up around our area. Mm -hmm. And so naturally people uh, still want to live in close proximity to those things, but still kind of live in a, in a, a smaller, uh, more intimate environment. And I think we still have that in Splendora. Mm -hmm. uh, we have four developments currently underway, um, you know, varying size uh, across the district. Mm -hmm. But I do know that there are more planned, and as we see 242 really start to expand, mm -hmm. uh, 59, um, you know, people are moving farther and farther north, okay. and, and the, as 99 gets completed uh, more towards the east, I think we're going to continue to see that development. And so our challenge as a school district uh, is to prepare for that growth, mm -hmm. right, both um, philosophically and operationally. I think being very proactive, you've got a new school coming mm -hmm. soon. So yeah, where's we, that going to be at? We have a new elementary school coming right off of uh, 242, okay. Highway 242, right um, on the west end of our district. Mm -hmm. And so now we'll have, uh, we have two campuses on our, two elementary campuses on our east side and two on our west side. So I know student engagement is one of your passions. Right. Well, research shows that the, uh, the more a student is engaged at school, the more successful they're going to be, not just academically, but socially as well. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of our major goals is to make sure every one of our kids is involved in something uh, from uh, the lowest level to, the, to, to high school. And so our elementary uh, schools, for example, offer a variety of clubs. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's pretty easy to find those opportunities at the high school level and the, junior, or the secondary level mm -hmm. with athletics and fine arts and, and, and those sorts of things. But at the elementary level, you know, we, you know, our kids get to choose what clubs they want to be in. So we have running clubs and Quidditch clubs and chess clubs and uh, robotics and, and all these different things, uh, opportunities for our kids to, to be involved because we want to make sure that they have a connection to school, right? That's mm -hmm. what we want. That's what I want for our elementary kids is, right, for them to to be literate, to have numeracy skills, and to love school, right? And if we can engage them at that level, then we think that we can keep them engaged throughout their, their school life. Right, and mm -hmm. I feel like it's a, they belong. They belong somewhere Absolutely. and they have. Absolutely, yes. So a couple of other programs that we're very proud of that we've been working on for the last couple of years we're, uh, have come into fruition now. And so we have dual language at our lower levels, uh, awesome. K through two. We've also started with standards-based report cards at our kindergarten and first grade levels, which means, you know, now, um, as it stands or as it stood before you would just get a letter grade for what your child was doing now we've really tried to you know make that a lot broader and more specific about what skills are they developing and where are they in these specific areas because again that goes back to more than a score right we don't think a letter grade is sufficient uh, to talk about you know how our schools are doing and we also don't think it's sufficient to talk about just what your kids are learning and so that both of those things will progress up uh, as kids get older mm -hmm. uh, and so we're really excited that our board is supportive of those and that we're uh, looking for always looking for ways to be innovative. So right now it's kindergarten and first that the progressive report cards? The standards based standards report cards based? yes okay. and, and we intend to you develop know that develop further. that further right. And so Thank you so much for coming Dr. Burke this has been very informative and I can't wait to share all this information with the public on social media I think it's going to be really great for people who want to come move to the Splendora mm -hmm. area or are thinking of moving to the Northeast in general. 59 North is growing. And um, it was just important for me to get with you one-on-one -on -one 
to get the word out on what awesome programs that you guys are offering and the culture that you're cultivating within Splendora ISD. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really great to watch, and I just really appreciate your time. Uh, it's my it's my pleasure, and it's it's a, a, a huge. Uh, opportunity and um, a blessing to be able to serve Splendora ISD and it's always a great day to be a Wildcat. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh -huh. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is below. I'm Stephanie Denman with Styled Real Estate.